everybody! Welcome and welcome back to the whole bucket. I am Cheryl and I am about to do an unboxing for a project of my very own. Um, I have five people who are joining me in a project that I have always wanted to do and I'm so excited and so honored that they're giving it a try. We are, we have called it, How Do You Do? And the reason it's called that is because I have prepared six packages of weird supplies. Well, some are just normal supplies, right? But it's nothing that really goes together necessarily. And it's to see what different artists would do the same and different given the same supplies. So I'm going to show you what I gave everybody and what I will also be working with. So, the paper that it's wrapped in, same for everybody. Envelope that it's wrapped in, same for everybody. Um, and both usable, if you so wish, right? And here is what you'll find inside, or what they found inside. Um, I'll get to this in just a minute. It is a bag of small bits and bobs. There is a very large piece of a rugged or um, rustic, I guess, mulberry paper. I love this stuff to pieces. So I gave everybody one of those. I gave everybody one of these. It is, It has like a fold or perforation in the middle, so it's actually like a page or two different cards or something. I don't know what it originally was intended to be, but they're pretty, but I, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I don't even know where I got them. Um, I gave everybody this piece of stationery. These, so these have purples and yellows in common. I don't know. They don't really, they're not matchy, right? But they have some colors in common. I gave everybody a vellum sheet. I gave everybody a tea dyed page with, this is what I call my um, confetti tea dye. So I, I, I have my own little sprinkle stuff that I put on tea dyed paper while it's wet and as it dries it gets these fun splotchy colors all over. It's kind of cool. At least I have fun with it. Um, I gave everybody one of these. This is packaging. And for some reason, some of the packaging that I've been getting is these, they're still, per it's like the long piece they fill a box with. It's perforated like many others, but it's also layered and hooked in the middle. So, I mean, it screams that it's a page for a journal, right? But then maybe we'll think of other things to do with it. I gave everybody three of these. They are little envelopes. They have um, a closure and a little tiny peep in the center. And these are makeup, individual eyeshadow boxes. Um, and I have a cousin who is... Um, very much a makeup girl and she gave me tons of these and they're beautiful and the colors are fun and the designs are cool and I mean we love envelopes with windows so I thought okay well, let's see how people use those um this is also from the same cousin and this is also looks like probably a single eyeshadow right wildlife wonderland it says so I gave everybody one of those. I gave everybody one of these 5D, uh, 5D art nail sticker. Um, this is from me. I don't use fingernail stickers because my nails are, you know, shaky. <laughs> um, but I use nail art in my journals. So I have a bunch of those. I gave everybody a little red envelope just because I have a billion of these little envelopes. So sharing them just seemed smart. I gave everybody a notepad piece. It's got pretty shady flowers and a little stamp down here. So this screams, you know, a couple of different things. I gave everybody a little 
shopping bag because I think these are cute. <laughs> I know a couple of different things to do with this also. Um, so it'll be, again, interesting to see. I gave everybody a glassine bag because I love glassine bags and vellum paper and tracing paper and all that kind of stuff. So I gave everybody one of those. We Everybody got one of these. So I have a... Um, a son who has recently taken up 3D printing. And I said, ooh, you got to make me some stuff. Um, so he, I picked what I thought was a pretty simple thing. I mean, it's got a flaw in it, but I mean, that's okay. Because um, this is for, you know, junk journaling. So I'll take the stuff that's flawed and see what I can do with it. But this is a little piece of lacy 3d printing stuff I had him make for me so I sent everybody one of those and then the goodie bag let's see what's in there so you can definitely use the the bag that this all that all these tiny things come in right there's no reason you can't use this part too I'll set that aside so I can reclose it so yeah, you can totally use this bag somehow. There is this strip of lace. It's a, um, I was going to say it's a French blue, but I don't know that that's true, but it's a very pale kind of aqua-y blue. There we go. Now you can see it a little better. Um, so I gave that. I gave this. Um, two sections with the rose and two sections with the beads. This is, oh my, mine got creased. This is just little washi circles. I don't know what you can do with little washi circles, but there they are. There's a bulb pin in every one. There is this, this is a big fat one of those, one of these. <laughs> so a big fat one of those, and then an even smaller stuff bag. And I'm actually gonna just pour it all out. Let's just look at all of it. Here is a charm. It is blown glass with lots of color in it. There is an owl charm with abalone belly. Ah, there we go. An abalone owl. Ah, baloney. Okay. Um, there's a I forgot what you call this when they do that electrical, electrifying the metal stuff, but there's one, of, uh, there's a feather. My feather's a little bent. I hope everybody else's feathers fared a little better than mine is faring, but um, they're very, very thin. There is a butterfly charm slash bead. At least I think it's a butterfly. It might be a moth, but it's a weird shape. I don't know, you know, I don't know. There is a scroll bead slash charm and then even tinier things and there are two different things in here um there are a whole bunch of flat back pearls i put a few of a few each of a bunch of different colors and i put the flat back pearls in there because i don't like them i bought them i have a giant box full of them and i don't use them because pearls are just not my thing so um, if you watch many of my videos, you'll always hear me say that I love a challenge. Um, I like to use things that, I like all this because it doesn't really go together. So that's a challenge. What are you going to do with it? How are you going to make this cohesive in any way? Is this all going to turn into one thing or is this going to turn into a ton of different things? Who knows? Um, and it's it'll be a challenge to use flat back pearls because I don't like them. Um, and then... There's a couple each of a few different colors of these beads. They're an 08. They are um, nature colors and they're all slightly pearlized. I love those. I love those a lot. So that's the whole pack. Now the trick is what do you do with it? The secret to this little project is that we are not allowed to talk to each other about what we're doing with the stuff. And 
some of us will be taking pictures, some of us will be making videos, um, either through it or at the end, but we have a whole month to figure out what to do with it and make our stuff. And after the month is up, then we're all going to, um, <laughs> what is the word I'm trying to think of? Share. Anyway, I was going to say expose, but that's not quite... That's not quite what I was trying to think of, but at that point, we have a date. I think it was May 12th. Let me look at the calendar quick, so I'm not lying. May 10th. Pretty sure it was May 10th. Yeah, must be. Um, so May 10th is the date that we will be revealing. There's the word. That we will be revealing what it is we did and I'm really excited to see similarities and differences in what everybody decided to do. It'll just, I just am so excited and I'm so honored. Again, just thank you to all you ladies out there who are participating in this and if we have a really good time, maybe we'll be doing this again. All right, stay tuned, hang in there, wait for April or May 10th. It is April. Wait for May 10th when we um, do the big reveal on all our channels. And um, everybody will be supplying links to each other's stuff. And we will have hashtags so that you can find us and see what in the world happened with all this. Please leave a comment, a question, an idea, um, anything you want below. Because um, that really helps a lot. Thank you. Bye.